what's up suckers it's me i'm back and your girl went and got herself a sponsor this video is brought to you by scrintle who we will be doing a review for in just a sec but first off you know how i always have a little bit of house cleaning to do i wanted to let you guys know that chase the chaos the digital summit that i run is selling tickets right now uh, it will be happening September 20th and 21st of this year. We have a number of people talking, some really, really smart people, and we are going to be discussing everything from book publishing to building writing routines to uh, morning routines to organization. I'm speaking this year. For some reason, I didn't speak at my own event last year. I will be speaking this year about how to build self-care into your schedule in a way that is neurodivergent friendly and easy to follow. And the best thing is, if you have a computer, you can access this. It is completely and utterly digital. We will be having networking lunches both days with my co-founder, Lauren Yi, who is an incredible person. Yeah, if you decide that you want to get your tickets, you even have kind of a choose your own adventure thing going on there where we actually have three tiers of tickets based tickets for replays only. So if you don't think you're going to be able to make it, but you want to access all of the knowledge that's going to be released on those two days, all public talks will have replays that you will automatically get. We have a live and replays ticket. So you get to come to all of the public talks. Plus you also get replays of everything. And you might be wondering why I keep saying public talks. That's because at our top, our VIP tier, we actually have three exclusive hands-on workshops that are going to be run by some really, really cool people uh, and that are going to be completely worth it. But those are only for people in the top tier. So if you would like to be a part of this, the link for Chase the Chaos is in the description. And uh, please come join us. We would love to have you. And now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about Scrintle. Okay, so Scrintle. I'm about to do a review for them. And I know that some of you might be looking at this and saying, isn't this a sponsored video? Aren't you supposed to say that you love Scrintle? Here's the thing. I never, never, never suggest anything that I haven't tested myself that I genuinely don't think is good for ADHD. I wanted to make sure I said that right, but I did. And that has nothing to do with money. Regardless of money, regardless of whatever is offered to me, if I do not think something is a good tool, I am not going to suggest it to you guys. So this is coming to me fully honestly. They already know that I'm going to also be talking about where I think they could improve. So this is 100% honest. And with that, Let's get into the start as to what Scrintle is and how they shine. So Scrintle is what would happen if a mind map, a cork board, and Notion had a baby. It's where it's meant to be a place where you can manage multiple thoughts, multiple projects all in one spot without having to actually have a cork board or a mind map up on your wall. And honestly, that's what I think makes Scrintle an amazing ADHD Tool. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that ADHD tools need to be visual. For me, anything that is going to remind me of uh, what I need to do or that is going to put what I plan to do directly in front of me or that is going to help me take the thoughts that are just swirling above my head and put them into an understandable array is very valuable. And that's what Scrintle sets out to do. With this tool, you're gonna to be able to build digital note boards made up of different cards. That's what each thing is called. And within each card, you can upload media, PDFs, videos, literally anything you need to tie to a project. And each card can also be marked with searchable tags so that if you need to find anything under a particular category, it's quick and easy to do. Y'all also know how important I find customization and color coding, and you're able to do that with all of your cards. My personal favorite feature has been the ability to link cards to each other. I'm writing a novel right now. It's my first fiction novel. Hey, and it's really helpful for me to be able to keep track of things that have to do with certain characters or how certain characters may have to do with other characters. It really helps me keep track 
of how my book is going to be laid out. Honestly, for brains like ours, where information can really just kind of be floating around in there, it is so incredibly helpful to have something that is going to not only help us put it in an understandable order, but also make it so that we can link our important thoughts and our important information and data to one another and then make it easily searchable and accessible with just a click. That is huge for our brains. So now let's talk about where Scrintle can improve. Honestly, and I mean this 100%, I actually don't see a lot functionally that could be changed about Scrintle. Um, the only thing that I could really think about is that there isn't an integration really between Scrintle and your calendar. And you know how much I love being able to see on my calendar the things that I have to do. But that's not uncommon, especially when we're talking about mind mapping and, and boarding. So I don't really consider that to be a big deal because this is, to me, more of a planning software. Other than that, I would say that I do wish that there were a few more color options when it comes to color coding. There are only seven available colors and I love to have multiple colors. I'm kind of extra like that. And it's just a lot easier for me to keep track of what is supposed to stand for what. I also wish that there were a lot more templates in Scrintle. For some people, they love building things from scratch. There are a few templates, but not enough in my opinion. I do wish that there were more because I've mentioned before, if something is too difficult to set up, that can be very off-putting for us. So it is one of those things where if you are looking to build something big, uh, it would be really helpful to have more templates. And Scrintle seems to be a newer account, a newer company. So there is a good chance that that is something that is going to be fixed later in the future. And finally, this app does not have a mobile counterpart. Now, Usually that bothers me, but it usually bothers me for software that I am going to be taking with me places. I don't really plan on taking Scrintle with me. It is for me more of a desktop office work kind of app. If you choose to take it with you, you do have other options. Obviously, you know, you can access it by web and you can also do things like make shortcuts for it on an ipad or a phone uh, but just keep in mind that if you decide to use scrintle on the go that is the only way that you're going to be able to do it and so this is a nice lead-in into who i think should use scrintle who this is best for so i think this is especially amazing for writers and creative artists and students I think that anybody who has a number of different ideas that they need to eventually evolve over time is going to find a lot of worth in Scrintle. I also think that this is going to be great for very light project management work. Nothing where you are going to need to keep track of every single status and uh, actually see how your teammates are doing in every step of the project, but it can definitely be helpful for smaller projects for smaller teams. I also think that if you use Obsidian or if you've tried to use Obsidian and you have found it to be very confusing, um, it, but you still really identify with it or really love mind maps, then this is going to be the tool for you. People who should not use Scrintle would be people who are away from their desk quite often, who need robust project management or who are looking for a way to track your to-dos very closely. They do have a to-do option, a to-do card that you can make, but it is not going to be the kind of to-do situation where you would be able to track your tasks closely. You would really only be able to track things in that one session right there in Scrintle. So sometimes I feel really bad because I talk about these things and then I have to be like, it's only available for Apple or whatever. But the good news is that Scrintle is actually available for Mac, Windows, anybody who can access the web. And they don't have a free trial, but they are among some of the most fairly priced softwares that I have tested. You can purchase a monthly subscription at $6.99 per month, or you can go ahead and purchase a once lifetime price of $339 and that would give you lifetime access to Scrintle forever and ever, amen. Now keep in mind that this is the pricing that I see 
actually they let me know that pricing depends on location and that there are discounts for students. So it might also be worth it to see what it would be for you depending on where you're at. The folks at Scrintle were kind enough to offer everybody who watches this video 10% off. So all you have to do is, again, go to that link in the description, access it, or you can go ahead and enter code ADHDONE10 at checkout and get your discount that way. If this is something that you want, I highly suggest you jump on it now because they are going to be retiring their early access pricing at the end of September. So if you see this and it is before the end of September, I suggest you get in there now. So that's Scrintle. And uh, I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy this, this tool very much. I definitely have been. Uh, it's been very, very helpful for me. Obviously I'm available for any questions, just drop them in the comments. Other than that, I hope I'll see you guys at Chase the Chaos in September. Thank you very much for watching. Drink plenty of water, and I will see you in the next video.